one of the things that has been really great about this residency is it's given me space to really think about and reformulate for myself and for other people the ways that I understand my work. So there's head adornment, there's insulation and sculpture, and then there's kind of other textile and fiber things that don't fit into or weave in and out of those two spaces in terms of materiality process. You know, the way that I dress can impact the way that I feel. And with head adornments, one of the things that's great about them is that you can put them on top of anything, you know? Like, you can put them on, take them off, swap them out. So maybe I need this object to help me feel this way in this moment, and the next moment I want another one, and just take it off. You know, it's not as difficult as maybe doing a full, a full change. I don't know that I chose fibers or weaving or filaments as a medium as much as they chose me. Being able to sit in the physical rhythm of weaving, being able to sit in the just, you know, the foot going side to side and the arms throwing side, like there's something in the repetitiveness and the meditativeness of that that has been really helpful. Fiber and textiles, I think are fascinating because they're a material that everybody has a deeply intimate relationship with. You know, you wear clothes, you sleep in sheets, even when you're getting out of the shower and you're naked, you dry yourself with a towel, you know, or wrap yourself in a robe. So there's this way that we're always in, in conversation with connection, um, contact with textiles and fibers, and yet we're deeply estranged from the processes, the materials, the methods, the time, the labor, the people whose expertise goes into producing them. Thank you.